My name is Colin. My business is Thuya Wood Art. I've been salvaging old growth red cedar driftwood from the beaches around Vancouver Island for over 20 years. Finding cedar logs in these piles of driftwood isn't too difficult. It has a distinct smell and look I've come to recognize. But finding tight grain old growth cedar really narrows down the selection. There's a big one right here, but again, it's, it's a brown tree, it's all the knots on the center. Just about all the driftwood on these beaches is a result of the logging industry. Wood that finds its way into the channels and moves from beach to beach with the tide. When I'm looking for old growth cedar on the beaches, I'm not as interested in the round logs unless they're really big. What I mostly find are pieces that are maybe an eighth to a quarter of the original tree. I use a chainsaw to cut the ends of the logs to check the grain quality and then to cut for length. I mostly use an electric chainsaw because it's lighter, quieter, and better for the environment. Cedar is the only wood that splits easily by hand, either with the grain or across it. I start with metal wedges and a sledgehammer, splitting across the grain first to see the quality. Then I split the wood into bolts as big as I can carry. As the first wedge goes into the end of the log, the wood begins to split. I then put a second wedge in the crack, and as it goes in, the split continues down the log. The first wedge will then fall out and can be used further down the split. I do this until the log fully splits apart. Not all logs are as easy as this one was. Sometimes it just won't split and I have to abandon that log. Sometimes I find nice curved logs. These are perfect for using in the gates and furniture I build with the wood.
Old growth, tight grain cedar has lovely natural color variations, ranging from blonde through orange and red into dark purples. I use these color variations often in the design of my work. Once I've split the wood into bolts, all that's left is carrying it back to the truck, which can sometimes be further than I'd like, but it can be worth it for the right log. Away we go.